All right, guys. Hate to break it to you, but we got Tommy John. Kind of knew this would be coming. Didn't realize I would find out about four years later that I would need it. It's been about eight days to be exact. So just a little bit over a week. I've gotten it done by Dr. Alatrosh. He is well known around Major League Baseball. He's worked on players such as Clayton Kershaw, Shohei Otani. But yeah, guys, just wanted to come on here, start the first video. Not the official first video I've posted in the past before my slow motion knuckleball. Back in 2019, my senior year of high school, Lexington High School, back in Boston, Massachusetts. I was around 90 to 91 miles per hour. Did not have full reliant trust on the knuckleball itself during practices and stuff i would just like continue to throw it just because it's fun my teammates loved it friends loved it it was just a fun thing to throw but yeah how i got hurt was we weren't supposed to play that day it got rained out we thought that we could get it done by cleaning up the field at the beginning of the day we were able to get the game going i was starting that day so did my full routine full warm-up and everything i think it was around the fourth or fifth inning uh i threw just like a standard fastball i didn't like cut it or anything i just threw it normally came out pretty well and then the pitch after i threw another fastball and then i heard it pop didn't realize that it was super serious so i got the ball back kind of walked around the mound a little bit just to see where my elbow was at it's kind of giving me a little bit of pain so i took some time through just a standard two seam fastball my last pitch that i threw came out the hand pretty well i knew that something was up so i walked off the mound got into the car went straight to the hospital got an mri done and then found out that I had a partial tear. Met with the doctor after I got the MRI done. He said that I didn't need surgery, just standard PT. And then about a couple months later, I was cleared to throw. Started throwing again a little bit with my pitching coach at the time. And just warmed up. Um, felt another pop. Did not feel the same though. Felt more tingly. We cut it, went back to the hospital, got another MRI done. And what actually turned out to be was that while my ligament was healing, my nerve was like kind of attached to it or it got like stuck inside of my ligament as it was healing. So when I started throwing in, the nerve popped out and then that's where that tingly sensation came from. Yeah, I had a, another partial tear and I thought I had some nerve damage, but I'll get back to that later on in the video. At the time I was already committed to APU. Azusa Pacific University. So I was still able to continue my offer. Flew over there for my freshman year. Got redshirted simply because of the injury. I was still working back up to it. Just did standard PT with the trainers over there. Right when coach let me know that we were coming back from a series, that he was probably going to give me a couple of innings. So that redshirt would have been gone. But once they came back, we all know what happened. That summer during COVID, participated in the San Diego League, one of the few leagues that were open. So I was very fortunate to face pretty high competition. I did all right, not the best, if I'm being honest, only because my arm was still kind of bugging me, but it's not like I pushed through it. I was still paying attention to it, but I just felt very limited. I was stuck around 83 to 84 miles per hour, maybe topped out at like 85. After the summer season, went back to APU for my sophomore year. COVID restrictions, everyone was back. We had 60 plus man roster probably, just a lot of players coming back. Did not pitch that year. Following year became my junior year. I was kind of disappointed with my arm still, still not back at 100%. It felt like I didn't have the tear anymore. Like it almost healed completely, but at the same time, I still felt limited. So yeah, during the fall of my junior year, I decided to step away from baseball for a little bit just to get my arm back in shape and I later transferred over to Cal Poly Pomona. I was not at the time pursuing baseball. I was still trying to get my arm back to normal and I later found out that every time I threw my arm would just get like super tight. Can't fully extend it but it was kind of just back and forth back and forth. Then the next year I tried out for the Cal Poly Pomona team was just stuck at 83 84 miles per hour just where I've been throughout my whole college career so I was kind of bummed out about that. But yeah I joined tried athletics in March so flew out to North Carolina spent about two weeks over there in-house with my coach Sam at the time I was working on my knuckleball I just like threw it for fun I later realized hey like if my arms just stuck at mid 80s I need something else because that's just not gonna cut it so I've been working on the knuckleball for quite a few months now went in content team was there filmed a video video hit 1.5 million views a lot of hope from that video just reading on the comments just really inspired me to continue my journey but 
I will say that during that video, um, the sessions before I was like up to 85, maybe 86. So going in house really helped me get my velocity up. When that video was filmed, you can hear me say like in the beginning, oh, I can like feel it a little bit. Feel it a little bit, but I truly think that my UCL had like fully torn only because my fastball was like, I don't know, I think, I think that video is 81 tops and if your fastball is 81 tops and your knuckleball is like reaching up to like almost 79 there's there's something wrong with your arm so i truly believe that in that bullpen I tore my ucl even more um since it was just an ongoing issue i just did as much as i could to get it back to normal didn't think too much about it flew back i didn't get to try out for the cal poly team he just had so many pitchers but yeah continued training my previous coach sam got hired by the kansas city royals so congrats to him as i continued my journey with tread and got a new coach uh, i decided hey like okay it's time for like another mri my arms just stuck I'm like high 70s, mid 70s, it's hurting. It didn't feel like how it felt before back in high school. It just felt like it got like stuck, kind of where this angle is right now. It just felt stuck after every bullpen session I would throw. So we went in for another MRI, got that done. Uh, I met with the doctor, I met with Dr. Feibel. He works with uh, Dr. Elitrosh. He said that your UCL just throughout the years, cause they had my medical records and my previous MRIs and it looks like it got worse basically had me come back go see Elitrosh. Dr. Elitrosh looked over my MRI reports. He said, yeah, it looks like a grade three tear. You're gonna need Tommy John. Got the surgery done. And yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting back to where I was. Just wanna give you guys a background. I'm gonna be recording the journey on the way coming back from Tommy John. So hopefully we'll get to see that results come back or like my velocity, like be back even more. But yeah, if you guys wanna, wanna follow me on this journey, feel free to hit subscribe and uh, Turn notification bells on and I'll keep you guys posted.